Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bull Talk by Joe Podcast. Hopefully, everybody is doing great. Today, we're going to talk about American and world culture. And I'm going to be exploring some interesting culture topics that you might find fascinating. First, let's talk about American culture. American is often referred to as the melting pot of cultures. And this is because people from all over the world have come to the United States and brought their unique cultures with them. One example of this is food. American cuisine has been influenced by the cuisines of various cultures, such as like Italian food and Mexican food, um, Chinese food, and, and many more, right? Many more. In fact, some of the most popular dishes in America are not originally from this country, such as pizza and tacos. Another interesting aspect of American culture is its music. From jazz to rock and roll, hip hop to country, American music has influenced cultures all over the world. For instance, hip hop music, right, which originated from the African American community, has become a global phenomenon, which fans and artists all over the world. So now let's move on to world culture. The world is uh, a vast and diverse place with countless cultures and traditions. One of the most fascinating aspects of world culture is its festivals, right? And the celebrations, the way we do things, right? The way we celebrate. Different cultures celebrate different holidays and, and, and festivals. And these celebrations often involve unique traditions and customs. For example, one example is India. The festival of Diwali is celebrated by lighting up the entire country with candles and fireworks. That's pretty cool, man. In Brazil, the world's famous carnival celebration takes place every year with parades and dancing and colorful costumes. And in Japan, the Cherry Blossom Festival is a beautiful celebration of the arrival of spring with the blooming and cherry blossom trees and all that cool stuff, right? So let's talk about the importance of understanding and appreciating different cultures, right? This is what this show is about. As the world becomes more connected, it's crucial that we're able to understand and respect different cultures. By learning about different cultures, we can gain a better understanding of the world and the people that are in it, right? The people around you. American and world culture are fascinating topics that we could explore for hours, right? I could be talking for hours. From food to music, to festivals to traditions, there's so much more to discover and uh, to appreciate. I hope that this episode has sparked your interest in these topics and has inspired you to learn a little bit more because cultures in this country are important that people don't realize because they've lived here their whole lives and maybe they haven't traveled to different places or maybe they don't have uh, uh they don't under they don't know people that are from a different country and a different culture so they find it they find it strange they find it different right because it is so they find it that oh man this is this is weird why are you cooking that why are you celebrating this well for instance thanksgiving everybody in this country that have been has been doing thanksgiving for years right american people they're like oh it's turkey and it's a day to give thanks family biscuits and gravy and all kinds of different things but if you go to a mexican home you'll have turkey gravy tamales menudo and all kinds of different things and some people are like oh man why are you guys wait a minute you had tamales on thanksgiving how is that even possible it's supposed to be turkey and and, and ham and and mac and cheese and all this other stuff and it's like well because they don't understand that you were raised differently you're in a different culture you're from a different country and not everybody celebrates thanksgiving the same right so this country is full of different people from different places and that's one thing that we have to understand as american people being an american person it's not it doesn't mean that you're white it's it means that there is all kinds of nationalities and races and everything living in this country in Amer the united states of america that's what that means when i hear well we're gonna go to the united states of america that just doesn't mean that i'm gonna see a bunch of white people walking around it means that there's going to be a bunch of people from different countries and different cultures there. That's what that means to me. So 
being American, it doesn't mean that you you're white and that you only make uh, mac and cheese and turkey for Thanksgiving. It just doesn't mean that. There's a lot of cultures, or like like I just explained earlier, we do things differently in our home. Yes, do I get do I go to other people's home and they have their traditional mac and cheese and all that stuff and the turkey and the ham? Yes, of course, of course. But that doesn't mean that we all celebrate it and cook the same. That's why it's important that we start learning about other cultures and we start understanding each other. We start understanding those other cultures so we can so we can go, oh, yeah, well, that's what they do. It's a normality. It, so it's not a, oh, that's weird. Why would you do that? Because that is what you often hear. Oh, that's weird. Why would you cook something like that? That doesn't make any sense. But the more and more you learn about other cultures and you read about them and you understand them, the more and more you will understand. Hopefully you guys like this episode. Um, I'm going to be doing some, some, some crazy little things here and there. I'm going to be having some, uh, some giveaways. So it's very important for me to support podcasting. And I've been trying to figure this out for the longest time. And at the same time, I have my YouTube channel that I'm trying to increase. So I'm going to be giving giveaways and that's going to be coming really soon. So basically, in order to support podcasting, I'm going to be giving away microphones and USB interfaces and headsets and stuff like that. It just depends, right? Nothing's coming from sponsors. Nothing's coming from anybody. Everything is coming from me. And I know that sometimes some people want to start a podcast and they don't have a microphone or they don't have a headset or they don't have anything. And I'm going to do the best that I can to give, you know, to give, to to give out at the same time, making it fun. And uh, it's, uh, I'll explain a little bit of how it's going to work. Basically, I'm going to post it on YouTube and all it's going to be is go to my YouTube and you're going to uh, subscribe. And part of the deal is to go down to my podcast, to go over to my podcast and listen to an episode and write in the comments which episode you like the best. And then after a certain period of time that I'm going to have, I'm going to pick a uh, random winner. And that person is going to get whatever I have available. And uh, that way, if you don't have any money or if you're short on money, my channel is really small. So I'm trying to grow it. You have more of a chance to be the lucky winner and win uh, some cool stuff, right? Most of the stuff that I'm going to be uh, giving out on the giveaways is stuff that I personally use. And uh, that way, um, it's stuff that I know works and stuff that I know that it sounds decent and it's helped me out in my uh, over a year now of podcasting. And uh, that's something that I wanted to do, right? At the same time, I'll help you and help myself and make it fun. So, uh, you can catch me on Spotify. I'm on Twitter. If you ever want to get a hold of me, just shoot me a tweet. Go to my, go to the messages and send me a message. You anything that you want me to talk about, and uh, we can discuss it there. But I'm um, everywhere: Amazon Music, Apple Music, Good Pots, all that stuff. Until next time, peace.